guys welcome episode 8 um, it's paint day that's why I'm wearing this ridiculous hazmat suit um, and a, there's a door on a table just over there but to get to this point I had to do a lot of work so I'm going to show you a little bit of that now So, which brings us up to now, and, and that's still not all the work I've done. I've, I've also, you know, once I'd finished uh, knocking that dent out and filled it, I can't remember what's in the video now. I can't remember what I did because it was actually uh, Monday last, nearly a week ago that I did I did most of that work. Um, I yeah, so went over with filler three or four times, um, sanding it down in between coats of filler and then uh, I sprayed over the top of it with uh, with a can of uh, gloss paint so I could see any little dips um, there was one little one so I bought myself some um, high build primer and then this morning I've gone over I've gone over that dip with the with the high build primer once that was done I started stripping down the door cleaning it up um, you know really making sure everything was keyed up everything was clean uh and just getting it getting it ready um i was gonna try and paint it while it was on the van but but unfortunately it's not gonna be that way so my plan is to paint the inside first um let that dry for a short while and then flip it over and do the outside because the outside I, I want the outside to dry longer like the inside's not as important um i still need to clean this up a little bit more before before I go ahead, I'll just make it a, bit, a little bit dirt here and there. But um, so I'm not going to paint this bit. All the all of the um, like door handle mechanicals and and everything are in here, and and removing them, I I don't know if I get them back together so that the door would open and close nicely again. So um, yeah, I'm I'm just going to cover this off. You're never going to see it. It's going to have the inside trim on it. Uh, yeah. Um, but let's see how we get on. Let's get this done so that because I want to do the bonnet today as well, but the door needs to be done first, that's most important. And obviously, you don't want to be breathing any of this stuff in, so I've got a, a high, pretty high quality mask from uh, JSP. Um, I think I used the 3M one last time I did any painting, and, and yeah, no problems. I also have a head mount GoPro, so you're gonna come along for the painting journey. Um, by the way. I'm not very good at painting, so um, advice is welcome, um, but criticism, not so much.
so that didn't quite go as planned. Um, I probably should have primed the whole thing to be honest. Um, I didn't think I'd need to, but I guess you can only really get away with this if you're painting the same colour as the original colour, which I'm not. So I should have primed it. Um, but I've come up with an idea. When I painted before, I painted a Sayat, which was like a metallic white, which is pretty close. And I reckon if I give it a few layers, which I've got loads of paint left over by the way, if I give it a few layers of that and then stick my colour back on top, I might be on for a winner. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this dry for a minute, flip it over and I'm going to do the outside first because the outside's more important. So I'll do that first. I am so disappointed the last time I painted um, I put gazebo up I spent like six hours putting a gazebo up lining the whole inside of it with plastic um, and in the end all that happened was all the bugs that were already in the gazebo stayed in the gazebo and, and bred within the gazebo and I ended up having so many bugs in my paint and I thought you know what this time I'm gonna do it out like, without a gazebo I thought the wind would maybe stop the bugs and and uh, I was having loads of problems in the gazebo with overspray and all sorts so I thought maybe maybe without the gazebo would be better no no in fact the paint has got so much trash in it that I I tended to just to just give up. I mean, I don't, I don't know. You can just about see that in in the paint. This is all bits of tree and and bugs that have fallen in it. There's a whole fly over here. I've had a, I've had an entire wasp land in this paint. I'm so bummed out. Because otherwise, otherwise it looks, it looks pretty good. It needs, I mean, it needs one more coat of lacquer. But it, otherwise, other than all of the, all of the trash in the paint, there's just so much of it. And I don't know if I can bring myself to, to just throw it on the van and, and deal with it. I mean, I'm not going to lie, it's still going to be the, one of the best looking panels on the van. I don't know, I don't know, this has just fully bummed me out. I'm gonna throw the last, I need to put the door on today. So I'm gonna throw the last coat of lacquer on, let it dry for a little bit and then put it back in the van. And, uh, and I'll sleep on it, I think. We'll see how it looks when it's on the van anyway. 
So, let's talk about what happened. Um, well, first of all, the, uh, the paint doesn't match. Uh, I'm sure it's picking it up in the camera, but it's clearly white. More white than this door, which is yellow. And in fact, the rest of the van is slightly yellow too. So, I've either got the wrong paint code or I've used the wrong primer. Saying that, I didn't use any primer um, other than on the bits I filled, which is another mistake I made. So I, I used so much paint trying to get the whole panel white. Um, what I should have done is use primer. I should have primed the whole thing. Um, but saying that, I think if I'd used white primer, I would still be in this same position now. Because, um, I don't know if you can see, but just just here on this corner um, I've done a little bit of uh, repair work um, when that uh, when the original door was here it crumpled this corner uh, slightly and I have pulled that out and I've, I've done a little bit of repair work I haven't painted it the right color yet but it's primed um, but when I was sanding it I noticed that the primer that's underneath this van is actually yellow which could be why the white is yellow and my white is white um, so I do feel quite deflated after today. I feel like I spent the entire day and achieved nothing. Um, I'm out of paint. I can't even do the bonnet. I'm out of time. So now I'm just, yeah. All I can do is order more paint and wait until I've got another day to paint it. The good news is, is uh, I'm, I'm so much closer with all my prep work. Um, I should be able to paint much earlier in the day than, than doing so much sanding and prep work before I start painting. Uh, like today, I think the first four hours of my day were just spent doing prep and I didn't even film it. It, was, it would have been so boring to watch. Um, but yeah. And then the last thing I need is a gazebo because so much stuff fell off trees, so many bugs landed in the paint today that even if it was the right colour, I would be so unhappy with the, the uh, finished product. Um, so yeah, that's that's how my day's gone. Um, what a disaster! But try and finish on the positive. The the paint that is good, I, I'm actually really happy with, considering I, I don't do much painting. Um, I've done uh, a bonnet before and a wing. Um, I've done a few tiny bits on my Skoda, um, and and actually, even though I only did one coat of lacquer, it's, I'm actually really pleased with it. And it's all, it's all, there's no streaks, it's all one colour. Yeah. It also needed much more time to dry before I could put it back on the van. Um, even if it was perfect, I would have absolutely ruined it. Just trying to put it back on the van before I go home. Because I'm not, not here for another week now, I can't leave the back of the van open. So, I, I guess that's the end of this episode. The, the problem now is, is all the rest of the work takes a lot of time for me but it is not interesting to watch. So I've got a choice between doing shorter episodes of, of just sort of montages of, of the work I'm doing, um, or I can make one longer video, but maybe in two weeks time. Um, or, you know, I, and I don't know, I, I, if you could tell me what you'd prefer, whether you, you'd have be happier to wait two weeks and watch watch a video with lots of content or or maybe wait one week and just see I don't know a five to ten minute video of of not a lot happening um, I mean this video is probably not that long and all I've managed to do is paint the door and it's wrong <laughs> do you know what I mean like um, yeah it takes a long time to achieve a little 
um, and unfortunately that's how every repair vehicle repair will go even other youtubers um, they will have they will condense their uh, the last the last bit of putting the vehicle together into one video um, but they're probably videos ahead of themselves so they can get away with doing it and, and maintaining an upload schedule whereas I'm literally film upload um, very very little is is done previously um, so yeah that's uh, that's gonna be the end guys and uh, please let me know if you what way you'd rather I upload and um, yeah if you enjoyed the video um, subscribe maybe if this is your first video this you know there's seven previous episodes that are way more interesting than this one this one has been a headache for me and probably quite boring to watch in comparison um, uh, so yeah that's um, it's worth watching definitely so yeah that's it from me I uh, hope you hope you enjoyed it um, and I'll see you I'll see you next time because I don't know if it's going to be in a week but yeah see you later